Google Photos has some pretty powerful features, and not all of them are immediately obvious on the surface. One good example is how Photos lets you edit and enhance your images from right within the app. So you can see here I'm scrolling through my own personal Photos collection. These are images from a Google I.O. developers conference a couple years ago. And let's find one that I want to edit. All I'm going to do is tap it to open it in full, and then tap the pencil icon at the bottom of the screen. The first thing I'll see here is a series of one-touch editing tools. So if I tap Auto, for example, Google is basically just going to enhance the image and make it look good using default settings. It's going to make it a little lighter, a little crisper, and just all around look a little better. These other options are a little more artistic, a little more filter-like. They're worth taking a look, though. You never know. There might be something there that'll come in handy in one instance or another. What I really want to call your attention to, though, is the slider icon at the bottom of the screen in the middle, because that's where you can find even more detailed controls for manipulating your images. Light, color, pop, which is Google's way of saying saturation. You can drag your finger on those sliders and really fine-tune the way an image looks. And Note these little drop-down arrows next to light and color, because there are some really useful tools in there that are kind of hidden out of view and you might not see. Under color, there's a particularly neat one called Deep Blue. With an image like this where you have sky in the background, you can slide that thing left or right, and you'll see it's actually going to make the sky look more, well, deep blue, without really impacting much else in the rest of the image. It can be pretty handy in certain scenarios. Let's back out here and look at one more thing. There we go, which is how photos can let you create remixes from your image, collages, animations, and highlight videos. So we're gonna take a quick look at a highlight video. What I'm gonna do is press and hold, whoops, not that many. Let's get a few different images that just show a little bit of this adventure at Google I.O., which was in 2012. This kind of thing could be useful for family trips, for pictures of your children, anything that you want to create a simple compilation and send to people. Uh, in a nice little video with music that they can watch quickly and get an idea of what you experienced. So I selected 10 photos here, then I'm just going to tap the plus icon in the upper right corner of the screen, and for this example I'm going to select movie. And that's pretty much it. We'll give it a few seconds here to get everything ready, and it's going to do all the heavy lifting for us. There we go. All done. Let's hit play and see what Google made. Kind of cool, right? And if you're not happy with the way it turned out, you can tap this icon on the left to change the style. That'll change the, the coloring, the music, every element of it. Or if you really want to go in and, and decide for yourself, you can pick the music using that middle icon, your own music, or any a number of built-in uh, possibilities. And you can click this icon on the right to manually edit it, change the clips, change the order, and change the way it looks. That's just one of the many features in Google Photos that you might want to check out.